Welcome to TL Physics, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to talk about moments. Now a moment is an important part of physics because it's all about rotation. So we've talked about forces just genuinely acting up, down, left and right. But now we're going to talk about forces when they cause a rotation. And this is called turning effect, okay, or a moment. Now the formula for moment, and this is actually really important that you get the correct terminology, is that a moment is the force times the perpendicular distance from the pivot. Now the reason you have to be very specific is because there's another formula that also, when boiled down to, is just force times distance, and that is work done. But the important differential there is that the distance is the distance in the same direction as the force not at right angles to the force, which this one is. So this turning effect is all about force and distance, but that distance must be at right angles to the force. And by that I mean this. Now I have a diagram here with my pivot, and I've got a beam like this, and I have a boulder at the end that has a weight of 10 newtons. Now the distance between the pivot and the 10 Newton force, I want the distance where here and here where the distance bisects is going to be a right angle. And as you can see, my distance is this way and my force is acting downwards. That, they're at right angles to each other, which means that 10 is my perpendicular distance. So my moment is 10 times 10 which is 100 Newton meters. And it has a direction, it is a vector, and this is going to be clockwise. Or that way. Now, what happens, of course, if my force is not at right angles to the distance, what do you do? And this is an example here where I've got the same 10 meter beam, but in this time I've got, I'm pulling it at 10 newtons. And this is where taking components comes in. So I've got some of this force is acting in this direction. I'm gonna call that Y. I'm gonna say some of this force is acting in this direction. I'm gonna call that X. So Fy is 10 cos 30, which equals, I've got it here, I've got e equals 8.66 newtons. And that Fx equals 10 sin 30, which equals 5 newtons. So this here is 5 newtons, and this here is 8.66 newtons. Now, my moment is the distance times the perpendicular distance. So here, the extra sort of, here I've got the, the force that is acting perpendicular to my distance is my Fy, this component here. So my moment, what is 10 times by Fy, so that's 10 times 8.66, which is 86.6 Newton meters. And again, that is clockwise. As you can see, my force is going to be pulling me this way. And as you can see, this is slightly less. But that kind of makes sense because only a little bit of that is actually acting to help spin it. So that is the basics of moments. If in doubt, take components. Look at the object. You want a force that is perpendicular with your distance. Also, please remember to draw either arrows or label if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise to be able to give a direction. And that is the basics of moments.